Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Robert Rivera with Who's On First, and we have another episode of the Unwritten Rules. This is five, episode five. Before we get started, I got a little bit of a mulligan I got to get through. Number 35. So number 35 is umpire covers the catchers and vice versa. The catcher gets hit hard. The umpire is going to come out. He'll start walking towards the mound, give him a couple minutes, give him a little breather. And same thing for the umpire. Umpire gets hit. Catcher usually jump up. He'll start walking to the mound, you know, talk to the pitcher, give the umpire a little bit of a breather. So there's number 35 from episode four. We got number 41. Fans should root for only one team. So if you're there, you can't be rooting for the Mets and the Yankees. You can't root for the Phillies and the White Sox. You, you should really root for one team and one team. Unless we, we've had that occasion where there is a mom and a mom or a dad, and they have a kid on one team and they have another kid on the other side. And in that case, I think maybe just, just be quiet, be silent, be neutral. Try to keep your, your enthusiasm to yourself on that one. But it's up to you. Okay, we're going on to uh, number 42. Never accept change from vendors. Okay, and this is in the big stadiums. But I don't know, man. Some of these stadiums, you, you're buying a, a beer for 12 bucks. Uh, I, I give you $20. I want some change. I'm sorry. I might give you a dollar tip, but I think $12 for a beer is a little outrageous. Back in the day, we'll be labeled as a cheapskate. Nowadays, I don't know. Everything, everybody does cards and Venmo and Cash App, so... I don't know. We probably don't have any change anymore. Let's move on to number 43. Don't throw anything onto the field. I don't know about you, but if I pay $12 for a beer, I'd be damned if it's going onto the field. That's why they stopped putting the caps on and letting you bring in water bottles with caps and stuff like that. So no throwing anything onto the field, okay? So that'll get you tossed out of the stadium in the day nowadays with all the cameras and all the security and stuff like that. You, you will get caught. You will get in trouble. Let's move on to number 44. Uh, oh, uh, number 44. Fans should not interfere with the players on the field or interfere with any plays such as reaching out, grabbing a ball, let that player catch that ball. And vice versa, players should not interfere with the fans. Let them have their fun. They came to see you uh, perform and entertain them. So it goes both ways. So Let's move on to, to number 45. Root for the visiting team at your own risk. I mean, some stadiums are, are pretty cool. They're not too bad. I know Yankees, uh, Red Sox, big rivalry. I've went up to Yankee uh, to uh, Fenway Park with my brother with the Yankee hat. We got a couple of blocks away from Fenway Park, and we had to take the hat off. Give me that! I said, give it to me. It wasn't a good idea to go in there with uh, anything that wasn't a Boston Red Sox, and vice versa. Yankee Stadium, you will get abused up there. It's uh, they will boo you, they will yell at you. So you. At your own risk. Number 46. Keeping score allows for personal interpretation. You get a little scorecard. You put the K if they strike out. And if they strike out looking, they put the K backwards. Some people don't do it. Some people put dots for certain little things just for them to keep up with the game. So uh, it, it's up to you. But the basics to scoring is numbering the players. And the numbering goes as follows. So it'd be number one would be the pitcher. Two, the catcher. Three would be the first baseman. Four is the second baseman. Five, third baseman. Six, shortstop. Seven, the left fielder. Eight, center fielder. Nine, right fielder. So if you ever hear anybody say, well, it's a six, four, three, double play. Right? Makes sense now, right? Uh, we'll be doing a show on that one also. Show you how to uh, score a game. Number 47, only place you have the right to litter. Doesn't mean you come in and you throw cartons and beers and everything all over the floor. Peanut shells. Baseball fans, we like taking those peanut shells and sunflower seeds. No really place to put them, so we, we, we throw them on the floor. So don't abuse it. 
<laughs> no, but uh, let's have fun with it. All right. Number 48, tip the ushers when they wipe off the seat. Watch this. Back in the day when you used to get the tickets, used to go into the fields, the ushers, Watch this. they had a nice little rag and they would wipe down the chair for you and show you where you sit, wipe off the seat for you really nice. And you used to throw them a little tip. And my thing was, so long as the rag wasn't dirtier than the seat he actually wiped, I, I threw him a dollar. <laughs> I thought that was really nice. Watch this. All right, let's move on to number 49. When you go to a baseball game, you have to have something there. All right, I know everybody, oh, I don't want to pay $12 for a beer. Don't pay $12 for a beer. Pay $8 for a hot dog. I always have to have a hot dog at a baseball game. And sometimes it's almost un-American not to have a hot dog at a baseball game. Let's move on to number 50. Always take baseballs to the game. Right? Take a baseball with you. You never know. Maybe I can get an autograph. All right, if I can get an autograph from a guy, sign a ball for me. I think that's pretty cool. If worst comes to worse, you know, you give it to a kid there, make them happy, say, hey, listen, here's a ball for you. You know, always take care of the kids. If you catch a home run ball and everybody's screaming and yelling and there's somebody else that wants that ball and you want to give them the decoy ball, you go, here you go, what you, you, you hold on to that one. That's a, and they go, wow, I got the home run ball. Nah, I got the other one. All right. <laughs> so, and uh, if you do catch a home run ball, all right, you do catch a foul ball, you as an adult are supposed to find a little kid and you're supposed to give them that baseball. It has happened to my son. It has happened to my daughter. And guys, let's, let's keep the younger generation involved in the game. So if you're out there and you know, you're an older guy and you've been to several baseball games, catch that baseball, go find a little kid and give it to him. Thanks everybody. Subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, make a comment. Let me know what you think. I love it. All right, this is Robert Rivera with Who's On First. And what do we say? Keep swinging.